One of the factors that can make or break a showbiz career is publicity. This makes publicists pretty important players in the world of media. And in this episode, Teens Wanna Know brings you an exclusive peek into the world of a PR firm. Zach Tepperman of ZTPR has worked in PR for several years and shared some tips for teenagers that want to learn about this fast-paced, fun career. Let's hear what he had to say. Hey, we're here with Hollywood publicist Zach Tepperman, president of ZTPR, and Corona, the firm's animal coordinator. So what would you say are the top most important things to know about public relations? Well, the first thing is you need PR. And that's not <laughs> me just selling you. It's, you know, you could be the best actor, you could be the best singer, you can have the best product, but if nobody knows about you, then are you really the best? Number two, PR is there to protect you. So if you're an actor and you have a nude photo scandal, we're there to you know, know about that photo scandal beforehand, protect yeah. you when it comes out, and you know, make sure your image and everything continues on for endorsements and so forth. So you know, we're there to protect you and make sure you know, if a media is interviewing you on the red carpet, you're saying the right things. We're there to help train you as well. Number three, PR gets you more opportunities. You know, we meet a lot of people on a daily basis. So if one of our clients can fit into a new movie coming out and the casting director is a friend of mine, I'm gonna say, hey, can you put Joe Schmo here into your movie? And he's gonna say yes. So, yeah. you know, being in a PR and part of a PR firm like ours, there's a lot of different, uh, you know, clients. So, you know, if you're a celeb and you're going on the red carpet and you need jewelry, we're gonna put you with our jewelry client and now you're gonna get a fashion article written about you. So it's all about layering and pairing and getting you yeah. those more opportunities. Number four is more for people looking to get into PR is P in PR is for perks. I won't bullshit you. We get a lot of frickin' perks. You know, we go to a lot of fun events, we get to see and experience things unlike anybody else. We also have, you know, awesome clients that send us a lot of, you know, free stuff for us to test out, such as our wine client, yeah. uh, you know. So we get to see and try and do a lot of different things and we get to travel the world with our clients. Number five, in PR, every time we get a new client, it's like gaining a new friend or a new family member. I care about my clients, I care about their success, and a lot of our clients, you know, whether they sign with us at the beginning for, you know, three months, six months, eight months, you know, have been with us for years and years, yeah. and, you know, we get to go to their family get-togethers. They come to ours, we invite them, we go out for drinks together, so they are like a family yeah. member, and we grow together, and that's very important, I think, with uh, a lot of PR firms. You need to have that personal connection with your clients. You need to be able to care for them, because that's how you're going to make them succeed. So could you give us an example of the work you do? Sure. Uh, an example could be one of our older clients, Becca Tobin, who was on uh, Glee and still is currently on Glee. Uh, so if you see in front of you here is three different magazines. We've got Hairstyles Magazine, we've got Animal Wellness Magazine, and we've got Maxim. And all three are different demographics, but help build her brand overall. So for Maxim, we wanted her, you know, she's on the show on Glee and, you know, she's the sexy cheerleader on the show, yeah. but she's got an edge. So we called up our contact at Maxim and we pitched the idea about her, you know, doing uh, a tame, not like, you know, lingerie type shoot, but a tame shoot with her, you know, looking sexy for her, you know, the male audience there that reads Maxim. So after, uh, you know, pitching them and getting the okay, we went up to the Hollywood Hills and we did a photo shoot with Becca and she got a two page spread in uh, Maxim magazine. And, you know, it gives a little bio and uh, talks about Glee and talks about what she likes, you know, what kind of food she likes to keep in shape and all that. Yeah. Then, you know, we wanted to make her seem, you know, and what she is, she's big on to dogs and charity and stuff like that. So we reached out to Animal Wellness Magazine and uh, we did a whole article about her and, you know, how she cares for dogs and animals and her own uh, animal as well. Um, and so she got a nice two page spread in Animal Wellness Magazine. Cool. And then, just to get into the fashion groove of things, you know, we reached out to Hairstyle Guide magazine, and we got her uh, a thing talking about, you know, all the different red carpet events that she's been to, and all her different hairstyle looks. And I also see the cross promotion of Bolivo there too. Right, so it's all about, like I said earlier, it's yeah. all about layering clients with each other. So, you know, one of our clients is Bullyville, and Becca was one of our clients, and you know, we did a photo shoot, got her to be the spokesperson for Bullyville and anti-bullying put this photo in here, which is all about her hair, but it still promotes the other clients as well. So it's yeah. all about layering the clients and uh, you know, getting the message out there for you know, whatever the magazine is. So another example, and one of my favorite, is the cover of Rolling Stone magazine with Bruno Mars on it. Now Bruno isn't one of our clients, but what he's wearing in this is a lot of gold jewelry, which is one of our clients, Mark Lash Jewelry. 
Now, you know, that's one of our jobs is to find the celebs, find the magazines that are shooting these kind of uh, photos and these kind of covers, and we get our clients placed onto these celebs, whether they're fashion or jewelry in this case. So for teens wanting to get into this business, what do you recommend? Well, first, you know, take a lot of marketing classes, uh, English classes in uh, school, whether it's high school or college. Uh, you know, get yourself out there. This industry is all about networking. So, you know, yeah. go to the events you can go to, you know, intern at different firms, you know, don't, ju don't just intern at ours, don't just intern at another. Intern at a broad base of them, and that way you're able to learn from different people, different avenues, and yeah. also build your contacts up. Uh, you know, English and writing so that you're able to write a press release or you're able to write a pitch is very important. And uh, just being a people person, you know, being able to talk to somebody, having that confidence is something you can't really teach that in school, but it's something that you can practice. So when you go to events, talk to people. It's those people and those interaction skills that really, you know, bring, uh, make a good publicist and somebody that I would look to hire. All right, this is what we're gonna do for you. I wanna get you an animal wellness magazine. So I think what you need to do is dress up like a monkey. We're gonna put you down the street, you running up and down the street making animal noises. I don't care what you do, just make me famous. <laughs>